Welcome back to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're going to be taking a look at my favourite deals coming in under $10 or your local currency and here I cover the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Gotta say as well up front this is a decent week as well, 12 games, a fair few we don't see all that often and of the 12, 8 of them are at a new all time low price so hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here, join our growing family and let's get started. So I'm front loading the list this week with the free deals matching their low prices and then we can get on to the bigger savings. But first up we've got Creature in the Well. Now it's back with 50% off and I just love this game. It's from Flight School Studio. They made the recent Stonefly but this it is their stronger effort or at least in my opinion. And it's a hack and slash with a difference because it's got a whole lot of like pinball and brick breaker elements to its action. Top down though you are the last remaining robot of this world and you're kind of venturing to this ancient facility to uncover the truth and along the way you can expect all sorts of like dungeon crawling leveling up and a whole lot of weapons highly recommended though if you want something that's just a little bit different Next then is Hand of Fate 2 and this goes on sale every so often but it's typically a few days here and there and you need to be quick. This time a little bit more room to kind of breathe, a couple of weeks and 67% off. This is a great price for a game that can last on average anywhere from 15 hours to close to 100. There's a lot going on in this one though so I'm going to say this, check out a full review before you do jump in, make sure it's going to be for you. But it's basically a card deck game where you face off against a dealer, kind of gives me almost like a dealer and d vibes but then there's also some hack and slash style 3d combat moments as well it took me kind of a little while here to get my head around all the different like cards actions challenges but once i got it it was absolutely addictive Fallen Legion Rise to Glory is the last one here matching the low price, it's 75% off, it's an NIS America release and it actually got a sequel recently but this is absolutely the stronger entry on the Switch from better performance to the fact the story, as generic as it is, restoring a kingdom and war is just a whole lot better. It's a side scrolling RPG though with an action based combat system that almost feels at times like a rhythm game but these warriors, they kind of attach to face buttons and you need to kind of get them ready as their stamina builds up. Just love that combat system though, I thought it was really satisfying and also just a little bit different. Alright, so the rest of the list today then, new all time low prices, my favourite sort of deal here on the channel. And we're starting with Chasm, it's rocking 70% off. This one, it's basically a Metroidvania at its core, but where it adds in some replayability and just some difference in fact, it actually relies on procedural generation. It's not going to change the genre or anything like that, but it is a fun action platformer with some decent challenge as well to kind of back things up. I love the pixel art then as well, Re really some like impressive few pints in this one, and there's something surprising surprisingly tempting about the fact I could now like you know do jump back in play it again but it will be completely different in its locations. I'm hoping this one it gets a sequel of some sort though because it did get a lot right and for a good while it was a personal favourite to play handholds. Digirati Best Sellers Bundle then is 85% off, that is a huge discount, but I just like this one because I think it's one of the weirdest combos of games I've ever seen. It's like they sat in a room and said, how weird can we get with this one? And yeah, they gave us Slain, an incredibly challenging metal platformer, which is also just a great game. Sequel was a bit better, honestly, but still worth your time. Sunless Sea, an incredibly deep sea-based RPG where you're exploring a world with just a ton of text death and even the odd bit of eating your own crew. Incredible world though with this futuristic almost kind of Victorian setting. They then wrap up this bundle with Snakey Bus. It's Snake where you pick up passengers and watch the length of your bus grow. You can even make that bus jump. It's okay, fun for small bursts but quite the contrast to the rest of the package. Super cheap though, free games, you really just can't complain. Alright, so Monster Energy Supercross 3 then, and it's a huge 80% off, and I've enjoyed this series. I was disappointed to see the fourth entry didn't make it to the Switch, but it seems they've kind of maxed out what they can achieve now with the Switch hardware, and they've moved their sights to next gen. Fun Racers though, by far the best entry out of the three we got this far on the Switch. It's also pretty challenging as well, it's all about the lines you're taking and also managing that speed. On the Switch you're lacking a full race field, which I complained about nearly every year. I will link my full review down below, it's a pretty lengthy one that one. But yeah, now it's gone, kinda miss it, so take a look if you want a bit of Sim Supercross. 
All right, so Story Fans Nightcall. It got mixed reviews, but I liked it. I think it's a game that if you don't like the format, though, this would be a long old game to sit through. So think here, basically, a whole lot of dialogue, text, and menus. And yeah, that's really going to determine if it's going to be one for you. The idea, though, a murderer is on the loose in Paris. You are the only person to ever survive an attack, but now you're going back to work after, like, a stint in hospital. You drive a taxi, though. You now need to pick up passengers and conduct your own investigation into a fence. Can you get to the bottom of it? Think here though an interesting cast of characters, a police force that actually suspects you and some seriously stunning but simple noir like visual design. 60% off though that is more than fair for this one and I think you'll get a decent chunk of gameplay out of it as well. Bite the Bullet then is here with 60% off and I thought this one honestly it was just okay nothing special but it's getting cheaper and cheaper and the shortcomings are becoming easier to forgive. It's a roguelite run and gun experience but the spin here you can eat your enemies, you can eat bullets, you can eat items in this world and these in turn will power you up changing and shifting your character's stats like even at one point you can go into like a hawk mode. It's playing with the you are what you eat saying here though and yeah it's fun enough four classes co-op play. 50 levels, I think you'll get your money's worth in the skill tree system, it for sure adds a level of kind of experimentation to things which I think is always a good thing. So a couple of UK exclusives and two of my favourite deals of the week, first Sonic Mania, it's a masterpiece, if you like Sonic then this is basically the must play entry of well, since a long time for Sonic, honestly. It revisits classic locations, though, from the originals, adds in new moments, and they just absolutely deliver on what it means to be a Sonic game from creative platforming to reasons to use all of your speed. And then, it, yeah, it's just wrapped up in incredible 2D visuals. This is a steal of a price, and hopefully it reaches the US and Canada soon. If you don't own it, just add it to that wish list, because 50% off, that is a must-buy for platformer or retro fans out there. Then we've got Team Sonic Racing with 75% off. I think this is one of the best kart racers on the Switch alongside Mario and Crash. It's not really going to be adding anything new to the genre, honestly, but it's just arcade racing with power-ups, and it plays with the idea here of team-based racing where you get almost classes, and yeah, you'll need to somewhat work together. So yeah, it's not doing a lot different, but just enough to stand out. I'm not sure how active the online community is nowadays, honestly. I think most lean towards Mario, let's face it. I mostly played solo, though I paid full price. I easily got my money's worth and it supports local play for up to four players if that is your thing. So our penultimate game of the week then, and we're changing the vibe entirely here, but Amnesia Collection. This one, it's going to be for you horror fans. It's a classic of the genre. It's for sure a starting point of the more kind of slower burn approach to the world of horror. But yeah, it brings together three games, this package. That is The Dark Descent, A Machine for Pigs, and also Justine. This game though, Amnesia, it's credited as basically starting the world of Let's Plays, and it was pretty much the start of PewDiePie becoming one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. If you like your scares, so the three stories contain they are solid and they are of course seriously creepy this one it's rocking 90% off though you're getting a whole lot of game for your cash here but just again be warned definitely on the scarier side if that is not your thing steer very clear so our final game of the week then that is children and mortar and it's been a long time coming but we finally have a new low price with 60% off in the game it's been out for nearly two years at this point, but what I respect about this one so much, it's the constant support it's given as they continue to update it and even add new content, including the recent family trials. It essentially gives the game an almost Hades mode. The core game, though, it is a roguelite, but it's unique because you actually have different family members here with different skills. It supports local co-op as well, and the, like, the overall idea here, it's a family of heroes. They guard a mountain as evil is trying to take over. It's great stuff, and while I would like to see some sort of sequel you know relatively soon i'm more than happy to keep on taking these free updates also then for children and mortar it's not on sale currently but check out the paws and claws dlc it's only like four bucks or your local equivalent it actually adds so animals to the game boost an animal shelter to the house be a hundred percent of proceeds from the 11-bit studios and dead mage they do go to the humane society international charity and i have a ton of respect for them for doing that so that is why it's also getting a shout out and that's another week down. Will you be adding anything to the library this week or are you holding onto that cash? I think it's a real strong week of discounts, honestly. Really impressed with some of them. And I'm hoping here in the next few days now, the US and Canada, they get their chance kind of at the Sonic deals because it is rare on them that we do get a new low price. 
Remember then to check out the other channels as well, PlayStation Corner, also the latest one then, the Xbox Corner, if deals, reviews, news, and of course those platforms are your thing. I've linked both of those in the pinned comment down below. With that though, a shout out to the patrons of the channel who are just going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. It helps and more than you know, so thank you all so much. If you do want to check that out for yourself, I have linked it in the video description down below. Then hit subscribe if you love the Switch. As much as we all do here, join our growing family, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.